Life is about standing up, being who you're supposed to be, being a father, being a husband, being whatever you are called to be and doing it the best that you can be and stepping up. We just came out of MCCC and I got to hear Titan's testimony of a man who used to fight for himself. This will be the first night that men will make decisions to want to change their lives. I put my name on the line. You're the first one coming through here. If you fail, you're going to fail there is no, all these there guys. There is no failure. You know there what I'm saying? No I won't let you down. I won't let anything you down. And most of all, I will not let God down. I love <laughs> you, man. Love you too. Thank you. All right. All right. God bless you. Mm. Let's go work now. Yes. We're going to work? Let's yeah. Go. Here's the post. Awesome. It's for part. Yeah. Quarter turn. Boom. There you go. Woohoo! Right on St. Anthony's roof. The HNU solar posts going right into the structure of the roof on St. Anthony. Hurricane proof, waterproof, boom! As long as you put God first and foremost in your life, you will prosper in every area of your life. It's all about Him. It's all about Him. You know, me and Ty go back quite a few years to when we were teenagers. Back then, Ty was the man. <laughs> he didn't take anything from anybody. He always handled his business with his fists. You know, but most people took advantage of him, but it always ended up with the other guy on his back. Whoo! Still got it. <laughs> I just didn't understand God. You know, how, how is there a God that allows my mom to get beaten, us to live on the streets? Something happened though. As soon as I started releasing things from my life, as soon as I started cleaning up my act, I started caring about people. I started caring about my community. Like, love came into me. Titan told us the story about how he was raised. It's a lot of similar to me, too. So I know that he made it, so that gives me a good path that I can make it to. They come in here hopeless. They come in here heart shattered and broken and really not trusting the world. Here, we're giving them a second opportunity, a second chance. I lift up Mike Tablet and his family, Lord God, and I just thank you so much for this just amazing family, this Ohana, Lord, and just all the work that Mike is doing over at the Maxine Singer Youth Camp, Lord. Just such tremendous kids up there, Lord, that they just need a chance, Lord. They just need to open their eyes to the future, to what you would have for them, Father God. I just pray, Father God, over this food that you just bless it, Lord, and we'd all just be family under you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. There is hope out there, and there is support. There are programs like Acres of Hope that bring you in, love on you, teach you a new way. Uh, life is a lot better. Yeah! That's awesome. Look at it. Come on, let's go look at the car. You want to look at it? Oh! Yeah. Look at that. Ask and you shall receive. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> When I saw Titan bring that car around the corner, I thought, there is love. There is nothing that speaks so loudly as God's love put in action. I'd like to present you with this 2014 Chevy Traverse. Two keys. Oh. This is so touching. Like, it's just amazing. Like, just looking at everything I've been through in life and, like, thinking that my life was over and, like, that I had no future, and just to be a part of this and make a difference has just been like, I don't even know, I don't even have words, man. You know, it's just crazy. I'm just super happy right now.